Hey everybody, welcome back to Retrospect. Today I'm going to take you through the results of my first ever Kickstarter campaign. I ran this campaign in October and it was successful I would say, definitely successful. So I had 10 designs and 7 out of 10 were fully funded. I just recently finished up a Kickstarter to fund the remaining designs, so all of my stackable snacks will be in production soon. But these are the ones that I got made in my first Kickstarter. I've got them here on backing cards and packaged up. I ordered the wrong size of plastic sleeves for them, so that's why there's tape on the back. Next time I will get the right size. And they each have their own different colored rubber backing clasp on the back of them. It doesn't really make a difference to me, but to people who wear them I guess it might make a difference, but Every pin I get, I just take off the backing and store it in a little box and then put the pin on display. So first I will show you the watermelon based on no particular order. This one is one of the more simplistic designs, but it's got two different colors of screen printing. And I think the green in the bottom looks really nice. And then just the white sparkle is also screen printed. And on the back of every pin is my little retrospect logo, which you should be familiar with. This hard candy pin, I call it hard candy because I just wanted to put more blue in the designs and <laughs> I didn't know what other food I would make that would be blue. But this pin actually gave me the most trouble with production. You can see in the blue sections, sometimes when I tilt the pin, there's like weird rippling on the enamel. I still got to talk to my manufacturer about getting replacements for that because I don't really like how it looks. The donut pin has the most colors of screen printing. It's got the red, yellow, blue, and the white. Yeah, so this one was, I think, one of the more expensive ones to manufacture just because of the screen printing setup fees. But I think it turned out really nicely. I love rainbow sprinkles, so, you know, can't really beat that. This cocktail pin has blue screen printing on the ice cubes and white on the sprinkle. Like, everything has sparkles on it. But some of the screen printing got a little bubbly on some of the cocktail pins, unfortunately. But otherwise, I think it looks pretty good. The popsicle's got to be one of my favorites. I did have some trouble on the white sections only of these pins with getting some of that rippling in the enamel, but not too much. And I think the stick is my favorite part. It was supposed to be two tones of like wood-colored enamel, but to cut back on costs and stuff, I made it metal and I think it looks really nice. This pineapple had to be done on zinc alloy instead of the regular brass metal because of the fine shapes it has. And even still, I had to sort of simplify the design a bit in the spiky areas just to make sure it would work. I think I would definitely get two posts on the back of these longer pins just so they don't sway around when people wear them. Also, this is the tiniest amount of detail you can get in screen printing very small details. The hamburger is my favorite pin of the bunch. I just, I think it looks great. It's got different color of highlight. It's a sort of like a beige color on the sesame seeds and on the cheese and then a darker orange on the cheese as well. I think it just looks so great and I'm so pleased with this one. Alright, so those are all the seven pins I got made, and then I decided to reuse this frame. You might recognize it from my first pin collection video. This was the size of my pin collection like last year, two years ago. So what I did is I got more of that corkboard foam core, and then cut it down to size. Taped up the edges because I didn't cut them straight and it looked bad, so that's why there's tape. And then, using of course more duct tape, which is handy, I just stuck it into this frame. I didn't use any of the glass on this frame just because the glass would have been right up to the bottom part and wouldn't have had room for pins anyways. So, with a little MacGyvering I got it to look halfway decent. And then I just stuck my pins in. There will be room to put the additional four Stackable Snacks 2 pins in. I did add another design of a tiny apple. You'll see the sticker version of that later. But I think it looks really nice. And it's kind of like, I'm proud to display my work. And it was successful for me, so yeah, I'm definitely proud of it. And I think it looks nice on the cork and the blue. So these are the stickers I also got made for the campaign. I got a 6x8 sticker sheet. 
and it came out so nicely. I got a company called Print Horse to make them and they are so nice. I would definitely recommend working with them and I would definitely work with them again in the future. So these are definitely bigger than the actual pin size as you could see. And the little sparkles there too are also stickers if you wanted to have some small filler stickers. And there's this tiny, the tiny apple design as well. And then I got individual stickers, which are even bigger than the sticker sheets, as you saw there. And I think they look so nice too. They're on coated vinyl, so they'll be sort of like waterproof and durable and stuff. Hopefully anyways. And they feel really nice. They've got that nice matte touch to them too. And of course my Instagram handle in the bottom there. One of these days I'll try to change it from Ninja Cake, but for now it's staying. I think the hamburger looks so good with the black outlines too. I love it. And the hard candy design had to be changed from that to the actual enamel pin just because of manufacturing. They couldn't cut it, do some of the cutouts that I wanted. Yeah, so some of these designs are slightly different than the final product of the pin but only very slightly. Oh, I can't wait to see the ice cream made into a pin. That one was one of my favorites. And the tiny apple is supposed to be like a board filler, so if you have little gaps between larger pins, you can just stick some little apples in to fill the spaces. Alright, well that's all the stickers and there's my little pin board display. Hope you guys like this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!